welcome back to my channel. I am Andy Johansson, and today I'm going to react to the visual effects in three movies. Check this out. So today I'll be reacting to three movies and their visual effects. I do have some experience in the visual effect area. I'm currently working on a short film which will rely heavily on visual effects and I'm doing all the visual effects myself. I am no professional whatsoever, but I do, my, I do know my way around it. So we're gonna check these three movies out and uh, oh yeah, I will react to them. If you do like this video, please consider subscribing and leave a like, that would really help me out. Now let's get down to the reacting. Let's get to it. That's absolutely stunning. Whoa, they're actually adding the fog on top here. I thought maybe they were doing that practical. <laughs> That's cool. Extending the scene. Buckle up. for real and what's not. Man. Just, I would imagine they're having the back footage and then they're just now zooming it out even more. This looks... Uh, that's smart. Using the drone to track. Whoa, they actually animated this entire scene. That's insane. That's so much work. Whoa, that's insane. Uh, by the way, the music from Ham Timmer in this movie is mm, it's magnificent. Like, I'm tearing up hearing it. It's fantastic. Oh my god, the, the work put into this, it's... I'm amazed, like, it, it, it's insane. I know some, yeah, here we are, like, some things are filmed practically. Uh, I know some of the city scenes are done that way too. I mean, the, the, the craftsmanship in this work, it's absolutely one, it's absolutely amazing. In Roger Deakins, mm, you are the man. Roger Deakins, like, has such a way, like, the way he's implementing light into his scenes to make it look so natural. No, it's a definite inspiration for me. Uh, yeah, and this scene right here, it's a good example on how he's using lighting as a as a part of the story. Oh, here, oof. The entire scene is animated. Look at the detail I've put in here. Oh man, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting goose. This is so good. The amount of detail I put in here. It's ins and it's all in fog. You're not even seeing the ground. I mean, I wonder how many people actually worked on this. At, at start, I thought maybe the city was built as miniature or or something in that sense, but it's actually animated everything on PC. It has to be uh, a couple of hundreds of people working on this, for sure. Just that scene alone. The, the thing about Blade Runner, like how they're using color a part of, as a part of the story, that's amazing. Like, read into Blade Runner a little bit more, 
it's a, it's such a shame it did bad uh, at the box office because it's like one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen. It's it's fun, it's it's fantastic. I mean, I've been working on my uh cgi for the upcoming short film and it i was thinking okay this is gonna it's gonna okay i'm gonna do this try to do this as fast as possible but like to make it look real you really have to put in detail it's it's only the details oh that's uh that's uh, blade runner like if you haven't seen it i really recommend you to see it it's just it's a piece of art like you have so many talented people working on this film. You, for, in the music side, you have Hans Zimmer, and uh, the cinematography, Rob Deakins, and um, the, the director is Denis Villeneuve. Did I say that name correctly? I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, but yeah, the director is, uh, it, it's, uh, he, he made Arrival too, if I'm, not, if I'm not wrong, and that was a movie that astonished me as well. Actually, I need to check. Yeah, he made Arrival as well. Yeah, yeah, like, I loved Arrival. That was such an, a unique take on how, like, alien movies are uh, made. It's very different. It's very artistic and it, it's very good. Like, he's a very good director. One of those directors is actually making, um, make, making art. It's, he's really putting everything he knows and loves into his movies he's a certain way of making them and they are oh, I, 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 I really love uh, creators um, and directors that are able to actually do what they want to do that's fantastic absolutely love it the next movie I'm gonna react to is a movie closer to my own home Norway uh, and that is Kuntiki so, Kuntiki was an expedition led by the famous uh, Norwegian Thor Heyerdahl. Uh, he wanted to prove that people from South America could reach Polynesia during pre-Columbian times. It, they had some kind of modern equipment in there, like a radio and some kind of tools to help them along. Thor Heyerdahl wanted to prove his theory, so that's why he built it and went on it himself and it proved successful. Uh, so now we're gonna look at the CGI behind the film. Yeah, let's take a look. Important looking pirates. Swedish company, I think. Wow, that looks good. Poor bird, though. What, the raft is actually not real? Really? Oh, it is, but it's... Uh, no. The sharks looks real good though. That's really well done. Look at that! Well, that's the best animated shark I've ever seen. That's really well done. Wow, that's really cool. It's so well implemented in the footage as well. The lighting on the shark is pretty good. Like, it's really accurate. Like, it's really good. I mean, it's all about the lighting in, in, in CGI, like, you can have the best texture, the best detailed models ever, but if the lighting doesn't match up the rest of your footage, it's gonna look silly. That's really well done. Wow. I'm, that, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, I, I saw this movie and I, I remember being impressed 
by the sharks and stuff but yeah no this like I, I wasn't really sure how they actually made that that's but that's really impressive really really impressive the last movie we're gonna look at is 1917 and this is a movie I was really amazed by uh, in the, in, when I w went to, to, to see it in cinemas, it was really good. And also it is the same cinematographer here as it was in the uh, Blade Runner film. So, and in the film it is very special, it seems like it's been continuously shot in one take the entire film but there is a lot of smart cuts throughout the film it's I highly recommend it to go watch it but like now but now we're gonna look at the visual effects behind it so I'm really looking forward to this one oh that's a transition right they are animated when they came out there Oh wow, the, that's pretty cool. There, I would say that that's a CG plane. I remember this scene. That's a CG plane, and then here comes the real plane. This is no. That's CGI too. I, th I thought that would, but when it gets through there, that's practical. But is it done in several different scenes? Yeah, that's okay. That's cool. This is like very typical Robert Deakins putting this much light in the scene. It looks so good. I wonder if it would be hard to actually. No, maybe not. <laughs> this is so good. surprised me here is the fact that they're actually animated when they, they climb up from the uh, from the ditch wow that's 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 very impressive oh, they were so smart I mean mm, it's so nice to see so cool all right so if you haven't seen this movie yet do go and watch it it's super it's super good so that it for today guys this is my first ever re reacting video and uh, there will come more. Do let me know in the comments down below if you have a movie that you want me to react to. It can be visual effects, it can be the cinematography or anything else. Just leave your uh, suggestions down below and I will take a look. Hope you like this video. I will be posting a new video every Tuesday so do stick around. L like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. What do I do?